Welcome to this Cezanne haul for autumn 2021 for a little sprinkle of Parisian chic for the season ahead. As always, everything is linked in the description box below and don't forget as we go along to let me know your favorite piece that I bought in the comments section below. Right, very excited about this one. Let's get cracking. So first up is this pretty stunning green coat. I saw this coat on their website quite a while ago. I think it was launched before the autumn collection and I intended to buy it in the Accru. The package arrived yesterday, opened it up and it would appear I've by accidentally ordered it in the green. However, I'm thinking it's a really happy accident. The color is very different for me. I don't think I've got anything green in my wardrobe at all. But what I've realized as I've been styling all these outfit ideas for this video, is that this tone will actually work really, really well with a lot of the colors that I already have in my wardrobe. If, however, the green is a bit too much for you, there is the Accru version, which I shall pop up here. So you could go for that if you wanted something a bit more subtle. Or as one of the big fashion trends this season is, of course, to wear a bit more color. Maybe you fancy stepping out of your comfort zone and going for the bright magenta or the print. So lots of different options with this one. In terms of the actual shape, it reminds me very much of a pea coat. It's quite boxy, nice wide fit across the waistband here, and then it's sitting just below my hip bone, so it's sort of half covering your bum. Really nice length actually for a short coat. Now Cezanne, of course, are always big on their sustainability and ethical choices when it comes to fabric. So this particular coat has been made from a combination of recycled wool, wool and merino wool. So lots of different wools, but it's good to have some recycled in there as well. And styling wise, surprisingly, I think this will mix and match with lots of the pieces that I already have on my autumn round. So I'm very, very excited with this one, as you can tell. And hopefully those two outfit ideas there have given you a few different ways I would style it. So next up onto this gorgeous peacock blue cardigan that I'm wearing. Now, as I mentioned before, one of the big fashion trends for this autumn winter is to include lots of color. It doesn't really matter which color it is, but lots of bright saturated tones. And to be honest with you, I think this is the most colorful season I've ever seen Suzanne do. And I've been a big fan of theirs for quite a while now. So this beautiful shade of blue would be a great way to introduce a bit more color into your own outfit ideas. As I do with all of Suzanne's knitwear, I went for this in a small and I would say I love the fit I think that's perfect so outfit wise I think this could be worn in so many different ways but I'm just going to share two with you today so in the first one I've styled it with a pair of high-waisted flares that I've just got in I'm going to show you those in a moment now they're quite tailored quite smart so they could be used for lots of different occasions and I think that high waist is actually really nice it's quite flattering once I tuck the cardigan into the top of it I think those two really work nicely together on my feet in that outfit I'm just wearing my waist Western boots, my old faithfuls that I got from Cezanne, and to finish I've paired it with my Yves Saint Laurent handbag. So in this next look I wanted to show you something different that might not have crossed your mind. Pairing a beautiful knitwear piece like this one with a long maxi skirt. Now this one has been made from a crepe silk and the fact that it retailed under £100 I thought was pretty incredible. You might have seen this a lot over on my Instagram account because I absolutely loved it through summer and I'm going to really enjoy styling it through winter. But paired with a cardigan with those knee-high boots that I've got on underneath, it gives it a completely different vibe and absolutely means I can take it through for another season. The Zan always do the best knitwear. I love the pieces I've bought from them in the past. They always get tons and tons of wear from me and I mix and match them into so many different outfit ideas. So to have something in a pop of color from one of my favorite brands, I'm really quite excited that I found this one. Sorry, melting away, I had to get the hair out of the way. So onto those jeans that you just had a sneak peek of before. Now these have very beautifully been made from 100% organic cotton, which I'm very excited about. Now the real pull for me with this pair of trousers is of course that shape. I find a pair of flares hugely flattering and I'd say they've got the cut on these perfect. I wouldn't say I'm usually one for high-waisted trousers. But when it comes to this particular shape, when you've got that gentle flare at the hem, I think it really works. The combination of the two together is just so flattering and I think it's the same for any body shape. So as you can see in this first outfit idea with this pair of trousers, 
I've gone for that timeless Parisian style. Pairing it with this shirt actually, which is called the Chloe shirt. Now this is actually one of their best sellers. They seem to keep it in stock all year round and I can definitely see why because I have had an awful lot of wear out of it. I just love the really simple detail around the collar that just comes halfway down the front placket there. It just adds a bit of detail but in a really subtle fashion, which I think is what Parisians are all about. Now I finished off that first look with this beautiful handbag that I've just got in from a brand called Acton Nation. Really, really stunning leather in that gorgeous light shade of camel. Now you have got a strap, so I could wear that over my shoulder, but in this first outfit idea, as you can see, I'm holding it as a clutch because you've got these two little clasps at the back here, gives you the option to interchange it, which is really nice. Next up in this Cezanne haul for autumn, I went for one of their organic sweaters. Now, I don't know if you've seen on their website, they've got a really big collection in the essential section, I think, of all their slogan sweaters. So first of all, I styled it very simply, casual, relaxed, kind of everyday style just with a pair of loose fitting jeans that I got recently from weekday actually. So really casual with my Converse trainers on my feet, finishing with my small but perfectly formed Parisian handbag from Palem. So that's how I'd wear this jumper, super casual, everyday, school run, pop into the shops. But for my second look in this video, I wanted to show you something completely different that perhaps you hadn't thought of before. And I've styled it with these Camel Gustavo trousers, which I've also just got in. And this is really a great example of that high-low trend. So the trousers are quite smart. You could definitely use those for the office, but pairing them with something like this jumper or a t-shirt even, not only does it offer a completely different look, but it also maximizes the uses you could get out of a pair of trousers like that. If these are the Gustavo trousers I was just talking about. They're made from a blend of wool, you've got a straight leg, and they're very slightly low slung, which I do really like. As a bit of a last minute idea, I decided to try these with the cardigan I'm wearing, and I actually really, really like that combination. But I wouldn't have necessarily thought this quite bright peacock blue would go with quite a subtle and soft camel, but I do think it works really nicely together. With this look, I felt I needed a bit more definition at my waistband also to just cinch those up a little bit higher than they were from the last look. I added my tan leather belt and on my feet I got an almost 100% match with my caramel day flats that I got from Evelyn and then I finished with my bucket bag. Then I actually have a third look with this pair of trousers as I got a bit carried away. And I decided to pair them with this lovely silk blouse that equally came from Suzanne. I think I got that one in summer. But this one's got that lovely embroidered detail around the neckline down the front placket here, and then equally on the hem of the sleeves. That shape is really beautiful, it kind of does that lovely drape across your arm. But I thought as a back to the office kind of look, uh, for those of you who are finally going back in, those two do look really lovely together. And again, pairing it with those day flats on my feet as they were such a good match, I couldn't resist. This time I actually finished with my big tote bag that I've got in that deep cognac tone. So lots and lots of outfit ideas with the Gustavo trousers. And if that wasn't enough, I then went for them in the charcoal gray as well, just to confuse myself which one I prefer. Once I decided I loved the shape of the Gustavo trousers, I was really keen to try them in the charcoal grey so I could see that colour for myself in real life. So as you can see with this first outfit idea, it's another workwear look, but hopefully something you'll agree that can easily cross over for those smart casual occasions. I think my favourite thing about the Gustavo trousers is the tailoring. They're just one of those pairs of trousers that you know you will end up reaching for time and time again and mixing it with just about everything on your rail. So as per the trends on the catwalk, styling it with a turtleneck or roll neck jumper underneath, I think you could go with one quite baggy like I have or even one more tight fitting if that's what you've got in your own wardrobe. It's something we saw quite a lot on the catwalks. And then adding a blazer over the top to finish which although it's black against grey and then I've got the blue underneath, all those tones seem to blend really nicely together. And I think the look as a whole really works. I finished that look with my black loafers on my feet and my classic numero un handbag that I got from Palem Paris. Then to give you a bit of a contrast, a bit like the Gustavo trousers in Camel, I decided to give you a much more laid back, everyday kind of outfit idea 
with the charcoal grey as well. So I paired them with my navy and a crew striped Breton top. This one's had so much wear in my wardrobe all year that the cost per wear must be next to nothing now. Keeping it casual, low key, but elegant at the same time. Pairing it with that striped Breton top makes you feel very Parisian, obviously by the nature of the stripes, but also it's a classic look that will never date. So it's one of those go-tos that if in doubt, you can just grab it off the rail and know that it's gonna work. On hotter days, I would probably style it with my denim jacket. That one works really nicely. It's kind of that in-betweeny transitional kind of weather. So a really lovely pair of trousers that I'm imagining will become quite a classic staple piece in my wardrobe. Then this next outfit idea, I decided to keep it quite tonal. As you can see, I've got that blue shirt on my top half. But adding those tan details with my big leather belt and my bucket bag as well. It's a really nice touch actually that this belt is not attached to the pair of jeans. So you can easily interchange it with some of your other belts. And that just gives you more options on how to style it because it can end up changing the look completely, as you can see with this one here. So I think this wide leather belt is working really nicely. It's given me lots of definition at the waistband really sort of making the most of that high waist, I suppose. As you saw there with the flared jeans, I styled them in that last look with this beautiful blue blouse. So I fell in love with this, one, because of that color, and two, I thought the shape and the detail on this was so pretty. It would be one of those blouses that you end up wearing on repeat year after year. I love a puff sleeve, so of course I fell for those and done in a really nice fashion with that frill across the hem there and just a little bit of lace detailing. Being honest, I would probably wear it the most with that pair of jeans that I just showed you or one of my other pairs of jeans. I think that would be my favorite way to wear it. I think shirts like this, when they've got a lot of detail, you want your bottom quite streamlined and simple and elegant. You don't want anything too fussy on your bottom half. One, because it detracts away from all that lovely detail, but two, it can then feel a bit too fussy. So I do like keeping it really simple on my bottom half when I'm wearing a blouse or a shirt like this. And that's it, one beautiful rail of clothes for autumn 2021 from one of my favorite Parisian brands, Cezanne. I've really enjoyed filming this video and hopefully it's given you lots of outfit ideas and inspiration, as well as a good look about what's in store at the moment at Cezanne. Are you with me on the green or do you think I should switch that out and play it safe with the accrue one instead? Do let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. If you like this video, I would be very grateful if you could give it a thumbs up. And if you're not already subscribed, I would really appreciate that too. I will see you next Sunday with lots more outfit ideas, styling advice, and fashion tips. So hopefully you will join me then. Take care.